Ambitious and aggressive, the Biden administration and the EPA propose new emission standards that may lead to widespread adoption of electric vehicles. The proposed regulations are so strict that the White House expects electric cars to account for more than 60 percent of all new cars sold within the next decade. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has more on the proposals and why some are happy that they're ahead of the curve. No matter if it's a Fortune 500 company. This car vi virtually makes no noise. Or a neighborhood small business. On the highways and stuff, it'll drive itself. The best form of advertising. Zero to 60 in four seconds. Is a happy customer. I have this vehicle to use for my job. And it's safe to say. For what I do, I drive almost all day. John Cassidy is absolutely ecstatic. I've had this one about a month. Yep. What was it like the first day you drove it? It was a blast. It's still a blast. Cassidy, a full-time Uber driver, hasn't had his Tesla for very long, but he's already realized its benefits, and he firmly believes eventually everyone will. Most definitely. I do. I think this is a almost revolutionary car, kind of like when the Model A came out, you know, 100 years ago. This is like the Model 3, and I think it's going to change the way we look at cars because it's so efficient and the way it runs. I think everybody's realizing that this is where the in entire industry is heading. Under a new proposal by the Biden administration, ambitious emission standards for new vehicles could force the auto industry to accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles. The EPA believes the rules are so stringent that in order to meet the standards, 67% of all cars produced by the auto industry will be electric by 2032. Only one automaker could currently meet the proposed standards right now. It's Tesla. One of the legal requirements for them to propose this is that it be feasible, right? It can't be something they just pick out of thin air and make up, right? It has to be something that can be met by the industry without shutting the industry down, that will not raise costs too much to consumers. I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, I think this could save a lot of Americans money. Such an expedited timeline of EV adoption would have to coincide with a more robust network of charging and supercharging stations. You can get about 200 miles in 15 minutes. All of which come with significant savings over gasoline. Cassidy says with his Chevy Impala, he was spending close to $1,200 a month just on gas. But compared to his Tesla, that's down to about $350 a month, a savings of roughly 75%. In your gas savings, you're going to save a lot. So the initial purchase is going to be more, but you have to figure that you're going to be saving in the long run. We're already seeing that it's cheaper, certainly to maintain and operate an electric vehicle. Biden's proposal is likely to be met with some opposition. For the time being, Cassidy couldn't be happier. 10 years from now, I think at least half of the vehicles may be electric because of how convenient this is. In Brooklyn, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. Although the proposal will be subject to a public comment period, many industry experts anticipate that the rule will be approved next year. And the White House's effort to boost electric vehicle sales may be met with some resistance. In a new poll from the Associated Press, 47% of car buyers say they are not likely to buy an electric vehicle. High cost is a major reason most say they wouldn't buy one. New electric vehicles cost more than $58,000 on average. That is about $12,000 more than the average cost of vehicles sold here in the U.S.